Hello, this is How To Do and today we're going to be showing you how to install and use C Cleaner, which is Crap Cleaner, is the actual name, on a Mac. Now, it is very similar to Windows except from it doesn't have a register on the Mac, it doesn't have a register. So firstly you want to install it, so you want to go to any browser you have and then go to any search engine you have, so my choice would be Google and you want to type in C Cleaner God. C Cleaner and then any will do as long as it's from Piriform because they're the makers of C Cleaner, so for example Piriform um, click it and then you want to download it, obviously it is free, there is a premium version but we are going to get the free because it's good enough so you click download and um, you want to go to no support and then this is what the paid version has but we want to go for no support so you click download from Piriform because it's just easier there and then it will obviously save into your downloads and it's only 2.5 megabytes so once that downloads wherever you it would do on your computer so for example anywhere in finder so mine would download in downloads I think yeah, downloads and then it will come as a DMG so it's just a matter of double clicking and installing so we'll go through the process so double click now I've got solid state so it may be quicker on my computer you want to drag that to your applications but obviously I already have it so there's no point double click C cleaner app do not warn me if you don't want to do that anymore that's your preference now I'll click open and then obviously it will open but you will go through an install process um, which is extremely simple, it's just a matter of pressing next, next, next. Um, there's nothing, no hidden files, no hidden downloads or anything, no advertisements, it just simply opens. Now, okay, it opens, CCleaner opens, and it will show you your version. So, for example, 1.07.233, which is the latest version, your operating system, and then what your Mac has. So, I'm an iMac with Intel i5, 2.9 gigahertz up to 3.6, 8 gig of RAM and a solid state 256 I have. Um, now here this logo takes you to the CCleaner site well, we don't need this. Check for updates here which I'd probably do on a regular basis uh, because obviously you want to get it up to date. Um, then I would go to the top left and go to CCleaner and it just tells you a little bit about CCleaner if you need it so who's it by, license etc, you can upgrade to Pro but other than that you don't need anything option shows you the settings so for example normal file detection or secure file deletion so, sorry deletion I would go with just normal because it's faster you don't need to change that cookies which you have through your browsers if you want to save any you can just put it to cookies to keep by clicking clicking like this now I want to get remove the cookies so I just go back include exclude so additional files and folders you want to check and uncheck on CCleaner so you can exclude files include files and then languages obviously I'm British and therefore English tools is basically very similar to Windows this wasn't in the original version of CCleaner on the Mac but now they've brought it where you can uninstall programs so for example you can see a list of programs I have so for example Microsoft Office so if I wanted to remove anything so for example Dropbox I would just simply click it and then uninstall and that would just take to an uninstall process which would take seconds um, then you have startup, so the programs which run as you start with your Mac. Now this is good because obviously you want a fast startup as you do on all computers. Now I don't have anything running. If I did, I would just click this and it would hide it. Um, but these, um, these, I mean, sorry, these are the ones I have running. And if I want to hide them, you just click in these boxes. Repair mission is. If, for example, you install a file on your computer which is slightly damaged, for example, Microsoft Word gets it a lot where it can be damaged, you would use it through here to repair it and see what CCleaner can do. Now, it doesn't work always, but to say it's free, it has worked for me before on a Windows PC. And then Earth Free Space, which will basically write over the unused space in your disk or volume to prevent disk recovery applications from recovering deleted files. So, standard free space ERSA and it works extremely well oh, I know it does on Windows anyway and I'm certain it's the same company and same program it does on the Mac so the only thing really you are interested in is obviously how to clean up the Mac um, you've got a selection of things from your actual operating system so for example you can look at all your browsers so internet cache, internet history um, etc and 
some of these may be unticked as I've ticked them. Um, but if you do untick them, for example, this one, Font Registry Cache, I wouldn't tick this because it can cause damage. It did for me on a Windows PC, um, and I wouldn't put it on this. And if you click it, it does come up with a warning, for example. Warning about Font Registry, cleaning Font Registry may result in unexpected behavior for some applications. So obviously, we don't want that on. Um, and some of these are already ticked, and some you can tick if you want to. If you're unsure, just leave them. And then also it'll have a list of your applications. So for example, Google Chrome, Applications, Miscellaneous. So you click the ones you want to, and I would suggest clicking all of them. And basically what it does is it removes, removes like cache files, it removes like errors and reports and things which are not needed. And sometimes languages as well, which are not needed, obviously if you're only going to use one language. Um, the things I do like to keep is saved information because obviously I, it's just easier then it'll keep my passwords and things in Google and once you've done this it's just a matter of clicking analyze now depending on your system and how much it needs to be cleaned it will get rid of and for all you us people out there who do naughty things on the internet it will clean everything for you like internet history so your mum cannot see your dirty mess. Anyway, yeah, so it will remove everything. So as you can see, in Safari, it removes everything. Google Chrome, Internet Cache, Internet History, Cookie Sessions. And I would say this is better than any other program at all. And I've used a hell of a lot of programs. So this basically scans application and operating system by just clicking Analyze. shows you how much. So for example, 391 megabytes, how many files, and how long it's taken to scan. Simply, once you've done that, run cleaner. Now this will not work as you can see as I've Chrome open so you basically just want to right click quit or this would also be the same with Safari retry and it will clean also depending on how fast your system and how much to be clean finished so we've now currently cleaned 291 megabytes it's taken 4.02 seconds and we've cleaned 867 files that's it so I would say do this on um, I'd say a weekly basis just to keep your cash down, to keep it quick, and yeah, that's it. That's been it. That's how to use and install C Cleaner and fully clean your system. So this is how to do. If you want to send us any requests, by all means do. And if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's how to do, but not a not at the end, not a oh at the end. It's a not at the end of how to do. Um, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Goodbye.